Yo, yo, yo. Here we are. You go, Dre. But you can call me Dre. And I'm here again with another EDO Pro video. I heard you guys. I heard y'all. Dre, the deck is bricky. It's too slow. You gotta combo some more. <laughs> All of the complaints, man. Did you guys go in? The entire Buster Blader family came out to protect their deck. <laughs> Look, okay. Before I start off on the deck profile and talk about this, I just want to let you guys know, I'm not a Yugi God, okay? I'm not. I have tops, but I'm not a Yugi God. Um, but I'm also not a, I'm not casual. I'm going to keep it real with you. This channel is different than other Yugi 2 videos. I'm not going to post a deck and I'm going to be like, yo, this is unbeatable. Yo, this is overpowered. Best deck in the format. 100%. No, I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I go to too many tournaments. I understand what's good, what's bad, um, what works in what situations and what happens in what situations. And I'm just going to keep it honest. Like if, uh, if something's bad, something's bad. And if something's good, then something's good. If something has potential like this, then I'm going to try it. But I am still learning. And that's what the channel is for. We're both learning. We're all learning. Um, I, I think I'm going to I'm gonna have an intro channel like in the works or an intro channel trailer in the works. That'll probably be up soon. So whenever I get guys uploaded, you guys can understand a little bit more of like how I am and like how I want these videos to go. But hopefully that'll give you guys a little bit more understanding and yeah let's get into the video um into the deck profile i luckily i had a lot of time um over this past weekend to play with my group and we're all pretty competitive players so i was able to test the stuff out i ended up getting it uh, in the mail and i was able to test a lot of the stuff out and see what was good with it see what was bad with it and i actually have it right next to me here because I was testing it out and to see, I want to see the build. <laughs> I want to like see the exact build so that way I can just copy it straight onto EDO Pro. And um, yeah, and this is what, what I ended up coming up with. So let's just go ahead and get started and get into it. Uh, one Cyframe Driver. We are playing the Cyframe package now. I've always hated these cards. I just do not like them. Um, they suck because after turn one, they're just not good in the hand 90% of the time. However, it's very good in this deck um because of how many times you could possibly get hand trapped like on your spells so it's easier to bait out hand traps with gamma in this build as well too and honestly it's just it's a high it's a very high impact like it just it stops it stops like a normal summon or it stops like complete link monster against infernobles and such so i don't know it's worth it's worth trying um i had to end up taking out a lot of the bricks like you guys said i took out the dragoon package which was a brick um i cut down on some other cards but let's see Let's go ahead and get more into it. Uh, two Fleur de Lis, one uh, Maximus Dragma. Honestly, because I took out the Schism package as well too, I also took out the full window and Shadal package. Because I took out all that stuff, my deck was trying to do way too many things, but this card seems a little less useful, depending. But if people leave it up, it's still really strong, so we're gonna keep it in the deck for now. Um, one of the Buster Blade, the Destruction Sword Master. Bro, when you draw this card, it is so fucking bad. Oh my God, it's so bad. Like you, because there's not like a million ways to go in to uh, Buster Protector Whelp with the Destruction Swordsman, which is the way to special summon this card from your hand and make it not a brick. Um, I could do it with Magician Souls. I am still w uh, willing to try that. I kind of do want to try it. Someone in my comments did mention it. But um, until then, uh, this card is for sure staying at one. Like, you just don't want to break into it. Uh, triple Ecclesia, Triple Alistair the Invoker. So I put the Invoked Engine back in. I needed a stronger start rather than just Normal Summon Buster Whelp set a trap. Uh, I needed a stronger start. So luckily, Alistair, my man, ever since I came back, I've been playing Alistair. He's really, really strong. Um, Fusion Summoning is good. Macabre is good. Uh, consistent what else could you ask for triple ash triple the gamma triple buster wall for the destruction swordman this card's still good i still want to see this hand when i open it or I still want to see this card in my hand when i open it it sucks that it's other effects like don't really come come up um but when they do it's pretty hot when they do come up it's pretty fucking hot uh triple Dis disciple or just try triple nadir servant um triple uh triple tactical talents triple tactics talent this card honestly has been underperforming for me lately um it's so strong like i always want to see it but it's just been unperforming for me lately because people people imperm me more than they uh do anything else because a lot of people they aren't playing they're straying away from things like ash and valor so like the low impact traps like that like ash and valor uh, they're just gonna keep gamma and nibiru and imperm so most of the time if you were to get nibiru yes this would save you but most of the time i'm getting gamma or i'm getting um impermed and it's kind of eh for that so i don't know we'll see uh one terraforming Double Invocation, Triple Magical Meltdown, Triple Imperm, uh, one of the Destruction Sword Memories, 
my only fear is I draw into this, but luckily now that I have the Alistair engine in here as well too, um, I'm most likely not going to see it as much anymore. And if I do draw into it, I'm probably just not going to go into that side of the like engine anyways, like at that point, like I'm probably just going to try to find a way to discard this. Uh, I do like the idea of having magician souls to send this to the grave instead. But, um, until then, uh, these two cards are like fatty brick cards, but I need them. I need to play them in order to send certain cards to the grave or in order to activate this card in the first place. Um, this card's still very strong. Uh, Prologue of the Destruction Swordsman at three and one punishment. So I definitely veered away from the trap lineup for, for sure, for sure. I veered away from the trap lineup, but I have more cards that just let me insta play into my engines, which is what we want. Um, in the extra deck, double Macabre, still got to play it. One of the Buster Blader, one's more than enough. You usually, usually only go into one when it comes to both of these guys. You usually only go into one. The game's over if you can get this lockout, to be honest with you. Like, it's just that strong. The game is like literally over if you can get this lockout. So there's no point in playing more. Um, one Ashen Dragon. One Aguides, one Purgatrio, double Ints, one of the Buster Dragon. When Pegasus at Ignister. This could be a second Titan clad, but I wanted to try this card instead with um, Maximus. And honestly, it's been pretty good because there's a lot of times, especially against uh, decks like Dinos, where you need to be able to get some get rid of something during the battle phase. And that's actually pretty good. It's been it's, it's been working out nice for me. So we're, we're going to keep trying it. Um, one Access Code Talker, one Selene, one Protector Whelp, one Secure Gardener, and one All Mirage. And then for the side deck, double Nibiru one panker tops i have to talk about this card because honestly this card i never really wanted to play it but every time it comes onto the board i still say fuck that's a fucking panker tops so yeah it still it still has to be good right uh triple lancia um very very good against the dino matchup which is a matchup we lose really hard uh triple drone lockbird triple cosmic cyclone and triple evenly match and that's gonna ride out the side deck so yeah let's go ahead and get into it see if we can win some games I, sick, I, sick. Let's go first. Please give me a match. I, I will go first. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, this hand is bananas, bananas, bananas. It's like because I have the gamma, but I have to normal summon here. I, I can't activate any of the spells, so we'll just normal summon here. Is that cool? Good effect. Two normal summon. Is that cool? Ooh, he has the imperm. He has the imperm. Little does he know I am a good invoked player, and I draw the card. Little does he fucking know. I am a good invoked player. And only good invoked players draw. Draw the invocation. That makes the difference between the bad invoked players and the good ones. Is you draw the invocation. Please say something salty. It's better to start bringing Alvacaba in attack mode because people aren't playing Lightning Storm as much. So you don't have to worry as much about it. And one thing that's very relevant. Um, is Tyranno is 35 and Makaba plus Alistair is 35. So you wanna remember that. You wanna remember stuff like that. Go ahead and summon the Ecclesia. Um, yes, effective Ecclesia. Now here's the question. Do I want to Maximus? I don't know what he's playing. Do I want to Maximus so I can get my cards in the grave or do I want to just add a punishment? Because I don't have any traps. Get my cards in the grave, get floor. Two monster gates. Okay, so let's imagine we're playing against Infernoble Knight or Rocket Link. If I get just a punishment, that's not nearly enough to stop his board. Not nearly enough. So if we're playing against Infernoble Knight and he has a million equips, same thing. Punishment, not nearly enough. I can punishment the I can punishment the ints or the Isold. And that's about it. And I can Makaba, I can Makaba another Isold. I, it, it might be enough. But a floor would just be stronger. Hmm. It's hard. Maximus is the more risky play. So we're going to go up. Oh. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I don't know what he's playing. So we're going to see. We're going to have to see here. Uh, you know, I'm just not going to side deck. Please don't leave. Good luck on game two. Oh, he didn't leave. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. He did not leave. That's all that matters. Most people do. Most people do. Oh, the Cursed Eldland. Another Eldling deck. Let's fucking go. Pay eight, feel great. Pay eight, feel great. Alrighty. He said, okay. <laughs> I wonder if he knows what I meant by GL on G2. Is that too difficult for people to understand? I hope not. He's destroying his own Eldland. 
Yeah, that's cool. I think I think what I do is I is I gamma the is I gamma the Eldlick on res on attempt to resurrect itself, right? I think that's what I do. What the fuck? He's playing this card. What the fuck is that? Guardian of Golden Land. Yeah, so he's gonna attempt to affect res itself and stand for cost. So I'm just gonna gamma it instantly. So now I don't have to worry about that on the board while I play. Okay. He set the gold land forever. He's gonna have a. Yeah, he's going to have a. If he has triple attack, bro, that would suck. But he's gonna have a sanguine set or an elixir set for sure, for sure. It's coming turns, so I'm gonna have to be able to deal with that. Um, set one, I don't know that card. Set two, I don't know the card. Very possible, it's just mostly traps. Um, yeah. That's cool. That's cool, that's cool. A lot of traps, a lot of traps. A lot of traps, a lot of traps. All he has to do is set the res, yeah. The one that, that revives itself. And then, now I'm forcing him to do that at least. At the least, we're forcing him to do that. Yep, and the Blackstone, interesting, Blackstone. So he has, he's gonna have the Judgment for the Crush Element. The question is, th does he shotgun it, is the question. Ugh, that's terrible drop. That's such a bad drop. Now this card's dead. Okay. Channel coin, channel two. Go to summon the other one. Now he can just neg the distant, my my dear servant. So I don't really want to activate that. Hmm. Is it sus? This is sus. This is very sus. This is very sus. He's just gonna instant neg it, man. His hand is not the best. And this becomes dead, so I can't even wait it out. You can't even think like that. Yeah, I think I just lose. This card's dead because I drew the card. Ah, uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. I guess I can attempt. Yeah, we'll just we'll just we'll just FF. we'll just FF and go for the side. FF and go for the side because I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna die. I'm for sure for sure gonna lose. For sure for sure gonna lose. Let's see here. Here, this is not the best card against them. Not the best card against them. I'm going first. So here I need to get some. I need to get the cyclones in there for sure, for sure. Is Droll even good against them? Not really. Lancey is pretty, pretty okay. So Gamma's nice. Ash is nice. We'll just take out the Gamma package for now, and we'll put in the Lancia package. Put in the Lancia package, and I guess I'll keep a triple attack. We'll just do it that way. That way. Keep a triple attack somehow. Yeah. It seems like going first, I have an okay board set up against them, so go first. Go first, good look. Good look, good look, good look, good look, good look. Okay, now we're talking, now we're talking, now we're talking. Um, I can normal this guy, effect. Yeah, I can normal summon this guy. Thanks for effect. Okay. Effect, is that cool? I said, yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Droll? Ooh, no droll. No droll, no droll. Very surprised. Very surprised. Really, really expected it to be droll. Mm, I guess this is kind of relevant. No, not really. It's not that relevant. Not that relevant. I could just keep this guy. Just keep it all Mirage. Yeah, we can just keep it all. Activate this guy's effect. That's cool. I wonder if he sided in cards for Maximus here. That's effect. We can avail of that, yeah. He's for sure gonna avail of that. Uh, that's fine. I guess I don't get to know either way. Okay. That's cool. That is cool, that is cool. I can Buster Whelp. Mm, I don't have the card in my hand anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I can just be able to send another card here for free. 
it's not really that good either so it's better if i just sit on the ecclesia i know we might have a problem getting over that yeah we'll just sit on these two cards let's see how that does and then pass and see how he does all right okay 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 I'm assuming he knows what these cards do. He doesn't seem to really be reading. So I'm assuming he knows how to play against this stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to chain it, dude. Like, actually just going to chain it. Is he reading now? And then I'm going to chain, like, three of this one. Is that cool? Chain, like, three discard. Um, I guess it's technically important, too, to keep this one in attack mode. It's pretty hefty when he has monsters on the board. Hmm. He FF'd? Insta FF. Eldlick, man. And this this combo, bro. This combo, dude. Eldlick pairs, bro. They just don't want to play against you. They just don't want they don't want to play unless you unless they get off their trap setup or go first and get off their bullshit. They don't want to play. They expect it. It's exactly what happens. You know what I'm saying? The 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 unfortunately, Eldlick is just not as strong as it used to be. Now that Jet Synchron and um, whatever the other card is, O Lion or Band, it's just too slow. It's just a little too slow. And it'll on, almost always only win going first. Like, how do you win going second with that deck? I can't even think of. I can't even think of a way. I mean, like, yeah, you're able to discard and set cards, but then you'd have to set all your cards and then what? And like, you know, you're gonna die next turn. Like. Yeah, he probably he probably bricked on me. I don't I don't even know what he would have decided to do. But either way, there it goes. This card is still extremely strong. As you saw when you draw into Buster Blader or you draw into this, that's the risk you take by playing only one of each. However, it's better that you play one of each because you really don't want to draw into them at all, anyways. But one of each is still good, still pretty good. It may like I was able I was maybe able to play out that game too more like for longer if. I didn't draw into that card like if i didn't draw into that card then i could have like set up like set that in the back row and then like it would have been a really really strong play and that would have been perfectly fine if that resolved because if that resolves then it would be perfectly fine i could have baited out the the Evelyn trap card with nadir servant and whatever and then i had triple attack too just in case if he used a monster effect during the, the turn after I, I still had plays after that but because i drew into this i was just like no there's no way like i don't i don't think i'm gonna win anymore i'm gonna just die next turn so anyways either way this is the deck so far it seems pretty good seems pretty consistent i am definitely leaning away more from the buster blader package but i promised myself i would give this a week for sure for sure um especially at local so thank you guys for watching uh stay tuned for more if you guys like the video like it if you guys like the channel subscribe to it and if you guys want to leave a comment um criticizing or you need to leave a comment criticizing feel free i am an open book you can say whatever you want Alrighty, thank y'all